okay welcome guys to this new video it's going to be about a juice or drain hub okay just two screens all right so i started already by creating four columns initially i made a mistake here so it's actually meant to be four columns with the margin of 24 pixels So I went on to bring on the header, that um, the notification icon, as well as um, the name of the brand and the person's profile. So next thing I wanted to show you how I was able to come about creating that um, notification icon on the extreme left. It's more like so. This entire tutorial actually is about. Um, a design that I saw Sajon did on LinkedIn and I felt like okay there are so many tricks there that people could actually learn from so that I decided to do this tutorial in the first place so yeah right now I'm trying to create like three lines to feature um, the toggle um, the kind of hamburger design but I'm not going to add the um, electric effect on it so now I'm going to make my border rounded just gonna cheat a little bit by copying the icon so mostly I use um icon X right I see or any X okay and I just copied I before the video I copied the video a little bit by just 0.5 okay because that's what I thought um was optimal enough so I didn't want to waste like your time so probably did that earlier faster than this so now I'm just trying to like match the um edge of the icons as the that's the um the lines as well as the electric icon okay make them two make sure they're very closely related and yes i'm using auto layouts feature on figma to make everything look more easy on the eyes i'm pleasing so and then I try to make sure everything is properly centered and I think I'm comfortable with this. Okay, so that's I did that. Okay, yeah, for the editing I was using um class display because that is what um goes with the brand. It's actually a brand I, I, I designed earlier. I did their um their logo as well as their their um style guide. Okay. So, but I, I wanted to like relate this a lot to the design that Sajon did because this is not a project for the project I initially did for them was not for about them um, creating an, a, an, a, an app, rather right? just um, creating branded materials for their drinks. Okay, so moving on, uh, yeah, I realized that I actually was working with three columns and I needed to fix it to four columns, then I switched over to change that to four columns and I instead of um, adding rules okay to make it more neat and cleaner so I wanted to work with eight point grid so I made everything eight eight okay and then uh, made the margin of my columns set to 24 okay so you can let your column be around 16 20 24 Whichever you feel like is optimal for your app, as long as it's consistent amongst all the pages. Yes, then I actually took that avatar from Figma community. You can just search for 3D avatar, there's a lot there. Okay, it's time to type the next thing. Uh, choose your drink.
then I changed the font to Gilroy like I said I wanted it to look very close to what Sir John did earlier so we used the Gilroy font so I had to like install it before recording this video okay next I'm just holding alternate on my keyboard or for mark option just to make sure that everything is uh, properly aligned then I noticed this a little bit also I kind of like tweak it a lot a little because I wanted to like make sure it's um, good to do this design as fast as possible how do you look please? <laughs> yeah, God. And, uh, I won't go back and go back now no open the door I bet. let me record you know say i'm doing voice over i've recorded the video already so i'm just doing voice for that for the video and go back oh yeah 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 if once you enter now go continue my recording okay so next up i switched over to categories right try to make sure that then i added one more font to it so I literally use like three fonts in this entire design um gilroy inter as well as um clash display so the clash display was to like resonate with the brand guide which you see as time goes on but yeah i'm also uh, featuring the kind of style and sizing based off of um, ios device that's why you can see i'm using something bold okay which is um also another type of small editing or subtitle editing as you have it okay and then we have like this live title which is um choose the drink you love here we are already importing um all the kind of categories we might want to have so oranges um apple grape the a major like major categories are, are featured on this screen yes is like an actual we app now i'm going to actually feature more okay so that to allow people to easily um select that and then they can see like a lot of um products that they have relating to that so but this is going to be like a two app screen okay okay so i've got my grip I've got my lemon actually but sure the entire design I was calling it <laughs> I was calling it um grip for some reason I don't know why but the idea is for you to just get how the design works so for each and every one of them I was adding autolia so I was hitting shift on my keyboard to make sure that um autolia comes up okay then I changed all the paddings okay that's the top and bottom as well as the left and right and then I make sure I centered each and every component and make sure everything is set to fixed because um they have different heights and different widths that's the icons themselves now the pictures themselves so i make sure everything is well centered then i use the shortcut to tidy everything up okay so then i start changing it to like so before the video i actually used the eye dropper to, to select each and every um of the pictures you can see then i reduce the brightness i increase the brightness all the way to 100 and then drop the saturation down drastically so you get something close to like cream or off-white then i repeated the same again by uh changing the colors for others as you will see then I started naming other stores and then for this this store that like I said yeah I don't know why I just kept using grip Then the next thing I did was added um, radio suite and I selected uh, orange and the icon, the text orange and the icon, make sure that it's well centered. Okay, and then I also try to make sure that it's, well, it's aligned 
on my grid. Next, I added a few okay to the color for apple and did the same. Then I'll move on to adding border radius. How to increase my brightness a bit because I, I, I think I was struggling with making sure that um, my initial background is white. Okay, so. Then I make sure everything was in auto layout and and the spacing of 12. Okay. Then I tidied everything up and then put it inside another auto layout. Then I turned on my, my grid. So there's a shortcut I've actually been using to um, turn on my grid and turn it off. So yeah, now I'm just trying to make sure that the padding is, um, the spacing, the white spacing between um, categories and Apple. So we have um, the laws of proximity that I think that are closely related to each other will be, um, or items that are closely um, close to each other, or group with each other, uh, will, will be related to each other. So that is why I try to make sure that the spacing, the white spacing now is adjusted then i also try to tweak the height and width a little bit so that it sits very well on my um, row grid okay then i duplicated that to check and then i move on to checking the spacing again so then i was comfortable with like the spacing of 36 then add the next section which is the most popular section now so this design you notice that it has a very 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 um low density that is i used a lot of white spacing okay because i didn't want too many things on the ui i just wanted very few elements just like the way uh side as it so it's easy for the users to digest um whatever they want to see okay so like i said earlier so for kickstarter now kickstarter is one of the product that they offer and it comes with um is 100% organic juice and it has a particular price so the price is actually not the real price it's just like a an assumed price okay so and it's, i set it to uh 99.44 pounds then i move on to styling so i made um, the amount bold then price i want to pick a color probably red just for attention so that people pay attention to that before even seeing the price first because color red is more like a color that attracts people so i group them inside another auto layout okay And I spaced everything out evenly. And I did padding top left, right, and bottom. And I try to uh, fix the spacing. Then I added a superscript, so I converted the Pass to superscript okay I 
and I made the price color bold. Change the Kickstarter to Clash Display. So the next step now is to import the bottle of um, Juicy, the Kickstarter version. Then I added a stroke to try and like see where I can properly place the bottle. Then for mobile mostly my own type of design now let's change it like 0.5 instead of one pixel. So I tried duplicating it to replace it and add the next brand that add a feature of um, apple so yeah i was just trying to see how i can make sure that um the card now the kickstarter card is well aligned then i can duplicate that then i change it to reviver because that's the name of the juice. And I pasted it in and replaced it. I click copy and then paste to replace. Then I deleted that one. So the next thing for me was to create um, the navigation bar at the bottom of this screen so I move that out to so as not to interfere with the navigation bar I wanted to create so I change the color first add the act of 56 pixels so the next I needed to create was the cut icon in the middle of the navigation bar. So I set that to 48 pixels so that it will sit um, properly. Okay. Then the next thing I will do is align it to the center. I moved on to duplicating it. Then I divided it by four pixels, um, rather by four, so as to get um, 12 which will serve as the point we are going to call as you see so what i did here next was to duplicate this okay then i added the red color on the duplicated one okay then i uh, added the border radius of 100 you can just make it max then i selected the two Okay. Then under um, join union, I did subtract selection. So it subtracted the red part from the initial one. Then I flip it by pressing Shift H. Okay. But to revert that, I can show you how to do that with which by so right clicking. So I flip that with by pressing Shift H again, just to flip to the opposite side. Then I. Um, change the radius okay to 50 50 you can use any number just make sure it's perfectly rounded lesser number could have actually done this but just wanted to be fast so the next thing for me to do was to change the color to white but i make sure i first um group them and Hold it back. Okay. 
and I added a circle of 48 pixels just like what was there before okay but this time around I have to divide it by 2 so I can center it properly okay so next up added red color then I double click then I just added this one by uh, 2 pixels also on the right on the left by 2 pixels then I selected that and I will add the shift down and press tab arrow up my keyboard So then I change the color to white. Then the next step is for me to add the shadow. So what I did was adjust the blur a little bit as well as the y axis. Okay. Then I initially wanted to change the color very dark so I can see it for what I'm about to do. So next thing is for me to Take the eyedropper tool, okay. Then what I just want to do is adjust the brightness. So now that I was comfortable with uh, the color I'm seeing, it's time for me to add the bag. But before that, I needed to add them um, water radius. So since I was using 24, I just probably added 24. Yeah. I did that because I felt like I did mistake. A mistake. So I had to redo it because it wasn't looking um visually appealing or proper in my eyes. So I adjusted this by two increment on both sides and by my notch amount is set to eight. So I was able to set the one on top by holding shift down and pressing the arrow key up. Then I proceed to change the color back. It's time for me to add my bag. Bag icon. Then I centered it. Properly. Then I moved. Um, did you see reviver back? So what's left now is just for me to style the cards for Kickstarter as well as for Reviver. So I didn't want to have to have too many interfaces and um, too many colors, right? So I decided to switch back from this yellow after adjusting the shadow a bit. I try to fix the shadow a bit because when I started it kind of looked very very weird. So I was taking it a little bit. So as soon as I was comfortable with the shadow, I would move very swiftly to the white um, to change the background back from yellow. That's the background of the card from yellow to white. Then all I had to do next was to copy the style 
for Reviver and paste it for for Kickstarter and paste it for Reviver. So after that, I try to work on the shadow a little bit because I felt like it was too pronounced. Okay, it doesn't have to be too pronounced. You just have to show the design. So I took out one of the shadows like before okay, and then simplify this to make the interface look, look much more cleaner. I have to adjust the job shadow a little bit okay, to make it look dark. Then I took it back to the brighter part just because of um, to make it look more fancy and less dark so i copied the styles from kickstarter and also pasted the styles in um, reviver So the next thing was to make sure that everything was properly aligned as well as the shadows then the stroke was looking very pronounced so i had to adjust the stroke too and the next thing was for me to add the shadow to the um tab at the bottom of the screen So I added the blur of 16, where is it of 16, and then the spread of minus 17. Okay, I'm still not comfortable, so I said to add a white stroke and set it to 0.5, so it's not really visible. Okay, but it makes the design even stand out more and better. Then I proceeded to change the height to 60 pixels. Then I centered the icons properly around the navigation tab bar container. So now that everything is centered, try to zoom out to see whether there's some things I still need to adjust here at least a bit. I didn't see at first, but I decided that I should change the container for the radius. So I did that. Change that to 32. There are two pixels rather than I wanted to also change the background to make it even look more realistic. So, after looking at far away, I noticed that most popular was far from the different kind of product that is supposed to be categorized under most popular. So, I decided to adjust that properly and the next thing was for me to adjust the juice and I added it shadow by duplicating the same image but this time I said I sent it to the bank and adjusted the layer blur I 
would also do the same thing for Juicy, yeah, Reviver. So I make sure that everything is properly aligned. Okay, then I move to um, tweaking the background by adjusting the saturation, the two pixels, and the brightness. So you notice that my design I use a lot of um, the I don't use a uh, use saturation and lightness. I prefer use saturation and brightness because it actually like makes sense for me. So I initially started from like using use saturation and lightness, but I wasn't getting it properly. So, but when I switched to use saturation and brightness, it just made sense for me. So the next thing is I try to hide every other element so that if I want to do like any form of prototyping and share with the developer, um, with the help of smart animate on Figma, it's going to look actually interesting. So the next thing was for me to increase the size of the juice as well as put like um, the most basic information that users are going to want okay and it's just what actually um, Sajon placed in his design so I just literally lifted the text as well as the styling Say that in here. So, carbohydrate, water, and So the next thing was for me to move into styling them. So I made them bold, change them to Gilroy, increase the font size back to 28 pixels. So what I needed to do now was to start grouping them properly. So I started grouping them into their own separate auto layouts after the other. Okay, carbonate and 10% 20G. Then I selected everything and put it inside another set of auto layout. Okay, so initially I started with by spacing them out properly and evenly, but I had to just pull up my grid and try and position them properly. So make sure that um, it's well left aligned. Okay, so um, just so that I can align things properly because they kind of look off. So what I decided to do was to try and manually set it in as fun of that. 35 actually worked very well so I just use 35 because sometimes some of these things not just about the numbers you know sometimes you need to make sure that um, visually speaking is well balanced 
so in theory we are probably using um, 8.3 and that should give us 36 okay but we chose to use 35 because when we try to align it on our grid okay that's what is optimal for that now just checking to make sure the color contrast because that's another important thing about um, accessibility you don't want it to be too bright and you don't want it to be too dark okay if it's too dark it's going to cause eye strength if it's too bright you're apparently not going to see anything so now it's time for me to replace the back arrow button so i just have to change the icon by using ctrl c and command shift r So next up is to start adding the other elements that is the actual name which is kickstarter and then the next thing I presented was to um, add the style icons to represent the rating of the product kickstarter So then I try to group them and space them out um, effectively, cleanly, by putting them inside and not only out. So I wanted to use um, color red, just like what we've been using for price and all. So this way we actually use not using like the pure, um, fully saturated red but just something that is less saturated but looks very clean on the eyes and less stress one because it's less to no eye strain okay next up is for me to uh, add my ingredients okay then after my ingredients i'm going to add a um, description So for every unit, I have to put like in its own pew or badge, as it were. So uh, I noticed that over the years, doing design, when you want to work with like a very light background and you want it to have like a variant of black, a variant of black, okay, always preferable, preferable to use um, a grayish blue color, as you are going to see. It always looks nice on the eyes and causes less eye strain. So after adding the color and adjusting the border radius, it's time for me to um, add the other ingredients. We got our carrot, orange, ginger, then add everything again inside a whole different auto layout. I just place them to 4 pixels, which looks very nice. Then I try to put it on the layout and then left aligned it. And the next step was for me to add the description. So 
so and the importance of description is to like give users um, a feel of how the taste is from the perspective of the manufacturer now So I went online, I got a copy that fits the kind of description I want. So I just replaced that by using Command Shift R. So when you copy something, you can also paste to replace. So the next thing I did was to try to align because I noticed that it was on the right hand side. It's actually off. So I tried to adjust that by closing everything in. And I make sure everything is set to fill container. So then I imported two icons from Icon X to show the increment and the reduction of when a user chooses to. By a certain number of this um, products called Kickstarter. So, a use case would be let's say, user wants to buy um, two. So, I just try frame it and put it in auto layout. So, what I did next was to frame the plus and the minus inside the same container using auto layout. Then, I adjusted the padding, fix the border radius. Okay, then um, what is optimal for mobile UIs in terms of like touching now uh, is actually 44 pixel. So when you have between the range of 44 and above, so 44, 48 pixel, 54, they are very optimal for buttons and makes it user easy for users to be able to click on it. So that was why I actually um, made sure that I increased the icon height and width. So next is for me to place mm -hmm. and adjust everything appropriately. So you can see even for the counter, that is the number two now. I make sure I change it from um, all content to fix so that it will be easy for me to manage. Because sometimes when it's on all content like that, it's going to be calculating around the content. So like having a fixed height or a fixed weight. So now I divided it by four, just like divided the initial one. Okay, because that's what is very optimal for uh, when it's time for me to like actually curve the side. I moved on to duplicating the boxes. Okay, so that I can make one curved. Now I'm going to place it over each other, select the two. Then I'm going to subtract the one on top. So then I went on to duplicate that to put on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. So now it's to also curve the bigger part that has the circle on top of it. Then I want to proceed to change any color. So first I did was to group it. So now I'm changing all the colors to white. And the next thing is to place it on top of it. Something seems missing. So I'm going to proceed to doing that. But first, I need to adjust the height a little bit so that I can have a place where the shadow is going to stay. So I'm reducing everything by 4. So the next for me now is to reduce the width to So 
So what I did next was to put everything inside and not only have to make it easy. So I'm gonna do that now. So set inside and not only have now. Then I'm centering everything to the top middle. So I wanted so then I try to make sure everything is properly aligned. So next up, it's time for me to um, copy that shadow. So what I did was to add it to um, Figma's effect styles. Just called it background. Click gray styles. Then I selected the four dot icon to add the styles. So it looked a little bit too much, so I had to use the Y points. Good. So next up, I remove the number two to put that background just for repetition and consistency sake. So I place that in and I just set the height a little bit, but smaller. So what I did next was to um, remove the padding top, change to zero, and then I placed it in. So I just set the height back to 32 so I can place it in. So I know that I was not able to place it, so I had to put that ellipse back inside the frame. And I was able to center the two around the frame. So if a developer is going to um, work on that, it's just going to create a div that's going to have that container, then that... Um, blob at the back is actually going to be a background image so i'm going to fix some soft scripts like 15 20 grams and the humans okay so that's what i'm looking at today so i'm just at it that then i'm using this size a bit to 24 pixels okay so i tried using regular then I put copy the same style for pounds and fix it. I look at the other set to 24 and semi bold, so I'm comfortable with that. So that sums it up. Okay, guys, thank you very much for taking our time to watch my video I really appreciate it I hope to see you next time but before I go please make sure you like you subscribe comment and if you have any problems with design that you need me to review you can only send it to um, my email or you can just DM me in the comment below I'll be watching after that thanks for seeing me bye for now